Welcome back, everybody. This is your Captain Mog speaking. We are playing some Project Zomboid once more, and I think a zombie just may, may have noticed us. Oh, gosh, they look like they're coming actually at this building. I didn't hear no gunshots. What's happening? Why are they all walking this direction? That's weird. Anyway, we're going to be looking for a place to stay and uh, hopefully somewhere to barricade up a little better than what we've got currently. Um, so, we, like, we've been hanging out in some of these old buildings and all of these old, like, uh trailer park homes because we couldn't get back to our old safe house. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse like that, like we mentioned in a previous episode, like it's just, oh god, get off me. Swung in the wrong direction there. Um, I just I just want to make sure that we actually get to somewhere that we can start barricading up and making a safe house where we can bring our goods. Currently, we're really kind of uh, just out of luck uh, with getting back to our current previous, well, my current previous, to our previous safe house. I call it current because we haven't replaced it yet. We still are sitting in a, in a no safe house scenario. This has been a multiple episodes now, which is a little ridiculous to me, but God, we got a lot of zombies coming up this direction, don't we? I guess we'll do that and uh, keep moving this direction, maybe. Actually, why don't we go ahead and we're just going to cut across. We're just going to cut through the, the trees because at this point, it's it's... We're just, yeah, we're bringing too many zombies along. We need to cut through the trees and start losing some of them. So let's take a peek up here. We should have some uh, some zombies spread out in this neighborhood, and it looks like that is certainly the case. Shifting through. We've been pulling the attention of a couple, but it looks like relatively we've only got the one on us. Now, the real trick at this point is going to be maintaining just that one. Get off. Okay, she knocked over for a bit. Let's see if we can pop open one of these windows in the meantime. Not looking like it'll be the case. In fact, I really don't want to get any additional attention here, but we may end up doing so. Especially using this baseball bat. That's one. It looks like we do have the one here coming up at us. Let's try to pop this window before she gets to us. Or at least finding out if this is the window we can... if it's locked or not. Come on! Check behind us real fast. We're looking okay. Stay down! There we go. Stomped away. Take a quick quick glance around. Oop, I'm going to get out of that line of sight. Look at that. They were moving around that horde down to the south a little ways, just that by the road there. So let's see if we can walk around the side, maybe pop open one of these side windows and get inside. That would be nice. If we could make that happen, Elizabeth, come on. <sighs> Elizabeth, you fail me. You fail me and you make me sad, but... That makes me sadder. We've got zombies coming at us. A couple of speedy ones, too, looks like. Nope, oh, stay down. That guy dead? I think he's dead. There we go. Looks like they're both done, and no real gear on them, so that's not going to help us out at all. No exits on the first floor on the back side. Do they see us from here? They're kind of wandering away, but that might be zombies coming through this way, too, which wouldn't be good. So we need to be ready to run. Turn around and run. Ooh, look at that. We got in. No alarm. No alarm. Are we lucky? I don't hear any alarms. We got lucky. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting an alarm to go off. Let's open and unlock that door. We're going to do the same back here. And we're going to close these curtains since they're actually on the friggin' windows already. That's kind of handy. Our last place didn't have anything like that. Uh, the problem at this point is we really aren't here to loot. Like, we have... We are encumbered. Like, that's that's just what it is. Like, we're encumbered at this point. What we really need to do is find a place that we can call home, or at least a temporary home, so we can start setting down... Oh my god, what in the world? Two zombies in there. One of those guys just looked at me funny. And didn't attack, so that's kind of nice. Get off me. Get off me. Get off. Stay down. To, there we go. I can't see either of these guys, but at least we're connecting with them. One of them's down. This should be number two. As soon as we friggin' hurry up. God! Is there more zombies? We just get a fright? Are they coming up the steps at us? I would hate to have gotten to that point. We'd have to we'd literally have to jump out the window. Like I I might be able to spend enough time putting up a uh, a, a, sh a, a rope, like a sheet rope, but I I don't think I actually have everything to do so. Actually, I might. I got nails, I got a hammer. I don't have the sheets, but we might be able to find those. Like I'd have to rip one off the window here, but for the moment, let's close that. 
There's not one on that window. I didn't see anything in those, uh, either of those containers that we'd want. Is that... No, nope, there's nothing in that window either as far as the curtain goes. We've got a sheet. Let's grab that sheet. Ooh, two more sheets. Great. That'll be useful downstairs. Let's try the bedroom here. No zombies behind us. Thunder, you're a pain in the ass. I just want you to know that, Thunder. Okay, let's do that. Close this window real fast. Close window. Get off me. Alright, he's down. We got some pounding on doors and windows. That's no good. Finished him off? Oh, that's what we got going on. We got ones at the window. Holy shit! Just slink out this way. Yeah, they've seen us. Probably. Seems like at least some of them have. Jeez. They're everywhere. How do we... How do we get ourselves in these situations? Let's eat some food. Maybe give ourselves a nice little boost there and knock off that encumberment if we can. Dry ramen noodles really increase thirst. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm not going to take both those either. What I would ideally want is some other snack food that we can use and eat real quick. Chocolate. Go in the main inventory. Whiskey. Whiskey will feed us. And help lower some of that weight. So if we can uh, move some of that out and some of this stuff in the bags, that would be great. We're getting kind of close to the point where we uh, really are going to have to start worrying about dropping things. So we've made our way up this way. There should be some homes out here, and it looks like maybe a little less zombies, but uh, not by much. Oh boy. Yeah, they're everywhere. We just can't get away from these zombies. I see four minimum here. Let's see if we can stomp this one out by the door. Looks like we got some attention. Let's see if we can go around the backside. Oh, they're coming in through the gate, too. I was hoping this would be a place we could we could barricade up. This isn't a bad place. It's got all the windows, or uh, I'm sorry, all the gates already in place. But the problem with this place is I believe it's only one story. Come on. Stay off me. Jesus. How many followed us in here? A lot. Like, a decent amount of these guys followed us here. That is not great. Not what I was really hoping for. We got five, six... Get through them trees. Looks like I hit that tree there. I heard the, the connection sound. Oh, one. Okay, there's guys out back and in the house, too. We're leaving. This is not going to work for us. This just will not cut it for safety at this point. There's too many zombies. Uh, if we can, there should be some more homes to the south. I'm going to try to find a clearing and go south, see if we can find uh, somewhere safer. That we can barricade up. Oh my god, they're everywhere! Stay off me. Get off me. Quickly now, quickly! Break some skulls, Elizabeth! Stay down. Alright, that looks like it's gonna do it for these three. I'm a little worried we got zombies coming up behind us, so please, please, kill these guys! Thank you! One, two, and three has eyes makeup. Plural. Not just eye makeup. Eyes makeup. Oh, that's a nice little horde right there. Let's just sneak it. Sneak it, and hopefully none of the other ones are really facing us. Maybe one or two of those guys uh, gave us some uh, gave us some mine, but not many of them. Can we get inside here? That looked like it opened. 
but I can't tell if it finished. Come on, get down there. And we should be able to stomp him out here without breaking the window. Looks like we were able to. Let's see if we can climb in. Oh, there's zombies inside. I see multiples at least. Three minimum already? Oh, wow. Such a dangerous town. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to be heading back to the, uh, I guess, the mobile home park for now to try to find somewhere safe for the night. Let's just sneak it through here to try to not get any attention as we're moving that direction. It looks like we're going to get attention, so we're just going to book it. As tired and exerted as we are, we are probably not going to do well at this. There's too many zombies in this area already, and look at that, we are already on the, on the walking path, so we're, we're basically just trudging along. Uh, baseball bat's pretty low on durability. I don't want to drop my keys, I want to drop my towels, thanks. Drop this pistol, we don't have a need for it currently. It's just extra weight. Let's go ahead and drink half of this whiskey. Give us some food. Makes us a little happy. But at least it'll get us back to some running speed. We're below encumbrance currently, at least. But that's with the food buff. We're going to need to drop some more if we really want to stay there. Flashlight. Bye, flashlight. I don't need you right now. Keys, you should really be on the key ring. Oh, wow. Six, seven zombies that I can see currently on us. Okay, I guess we're just going to go... We're going to go this way. We're going to try to lose some of these zombies. Get to safety. We really need some tools. We really need to find somewhere we can barricade. Wow. I've said that a lot this episode. This is just insane. I can't believe we really can't... We, we're having a lot of trouble getting settled. Or resettled. We, we were settled, damn it. We had this on, on lockdown. And then they changed the spawning stuff. It happens. It happens. I just gotta get used to it, I guess. Anybody got any tips for uh, clearing zombies out of areas? I know, obviously, the shotgun's a good one, but if you guys have watched any other LPs and have any suggestions for how to handle these new zombie spawns, by all means, drop them in the comments below. I need to learn. Uh, but for now, it looks like, basically, we're just gonna stick to the outskirts of town and hopefully find even just a crappy mobile home that we can uh, barricade up. That would be That would be nice. How's this place looking? It looks like we've definitely been here. But as far as, uh, as far as anything inside, any zombies in here? Not so much. There's no, uh, sheets at all. So we can add some sheets in here, and I think this is going to probably have to be the one that we, we call good. Uh, I'll be able to sleep in the kitchen on the chairs so that we're not seen, hopefully. That'll do the trick, at least. Uh, like up here, we can sleep. So that'll be nice. Uh, hopefully this does the trick. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been your Captain Mog speaking. If you learned something new or liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate the feedback. If you've got any questions for me or about the video, drop them in the comment section below. If you'd like to keep getting my YouTube video streams straight to your YouTube homepage and, and you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button. I want to keep you around. I'd love to keep providing you some entertainment. So do that. And of course... Just so everybody knows, I don't grow this channel by doing any of my own advertising out and about. I just do it here on the channel, and thanks to your word of mouth is truly what does the trick in getting me new viewers and growing our community. Every one of those shares that you guys provide to me, I truly do appreciate. So thank you very much for that, and we will see you next time.